one. I'm here today with Cal Poly Pomona, who's coming off a win in the winner's bracket of the 2022 CCA Baseball Tournament. I'm joined today by head coach Randy Benton. On his right, we have Justin Casey, Casey. Casey Slatter, excuse me, and Ricky Munoz on his left, excuse me. Coach Benton, would you just take us through your thoughts on today's game? Yeah, that was a great college game. Uh, a lot of big moments. We were down a little bit, so some adversity struck early, and Drew Atherton did a good job of just giving up two runs there in that first inning. I thought that was a huge momentum. Even though they got two, he kept it right there and then grinded it out uh, the rest of the way through. And, and uh, you look at the last three frames, I mean, we scored seven runs on the last three frames. So uh, it's a tribute to our offense and what they did. And they kept the game right there, and they didn't panic, and they stayed in it and got some swings when it counted. That's exactly what I actually like to talk about. It's just the theme we've seen from the two games. It seems like you guys like the starters getting out of the game. Ricky, would you tell me a little bit about getting into that bullpen and maybe what that, if the confidence builds or what, what does that mean to the team? Yeah, I think uh, the most important part is just having good at-bats, extending them, quality at-bats, and our biggest goal every game is to get to the bullpen. We did that. We did that um, pretty early, so it was a good job for our team for grinding out at-bats. So I thought we did a good job of that today. Yeah. Talk about getting out of some of those other jams you guys had in there, um, especially, I think it was, Coach mentioned the first inning, but I think there was one in the fourth, and then in the sixth inning, you guys turned a huge double play. Yeah. I, I don't want to take all the way through, but take me through the... Sixth inning, the momentum that went into your dugout and the way you guys capitalized on offense afterwards, please. Yeah, I mean, I think we, we emphasize as a program, um, pitching comes first. You know, he, he always says it starts with the starts with the guy on the mound. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we really try to emphasize that. Um, and then defense as well. You know, we, we, we like making the big time play, getting out of the jam. We, that's why we practice it uh, every day in practice. And uh, it shows up in the game. You know, I think, I think it, we proved it today. Uh, Rick, I got one more question for you. I'm going to make you talk about your pitchers a little bit on this one. We talked about you guys getting into their bullpen and the way you guys really, as we mentioned right there, Coach mentioned seven runs in the last three innings. When I look at your bullpen's performance out there today, you guys go four in the third innings. Make sure I did my math right. Five in the third innings, and they give up two runs, which is, you know, not that bad. Can you talk about just the bullpen and those guys stepping up to give you guys this chance? Yeah, our bullpen was awesome today. They're awesome every day. We just we knew that we needed guys to step up. They did their job. They knew it was a big moment, and they stepped up to the plate and helped us win the game. Coach, tell me how proud you are of these guys. Oh, man, uh, no worries to say how proud I am. They grind every single day. They come ready and prepared to go. Uh, they do the right thing on and off the field. They're just uh, they're grinders. Um, and if you want to go back to the bullpen, I mean, they did their job. They gave up two, one run. They gave up one each. Uh, Roscoe and Romo, both of them were home runs. I mean, so for us, that's like, okay, it wasn't that multiple run home run. It wasn't the walk in front of the home run. It wasn't the double in front of the home run. So uh, they minimize their innings, and that's all we can ask them to do and let our offense continue to separate from the opponent. I think one of the biggest plays that might get swept under the rug, kind of underrated, is the home run that A.J. Nima saved mm -hmm. in, I think, the yep. sixth inning. Yep. Um, just talk about how, how your defense came up there. Well, that's something we've really been emphasizing in practice is getting reads, live reads off the bat during BP. So guys have been really excited about running balls down the outfield. It's been a high priority. It's, it's pitching. Uh, my philosophy is pitching and defense, and then offense takes care of itself with situational hitting. And Nemo's done a good job with that. He's continued to build and build. Ricky's done a good job with that as well. He's gotten better as well. So all the outfield play the last half of the year has really been an improvement. How many more helmets do you want to hit out of people's hands <laughs> through after a home run? You know what? It, I, it started out as a joke uh, against San Marcos, and then uh, it, it, it it popped off, and I was like, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna roll with this. So and so Nima, when I when I got to home plate, he, he was holding on to his for dear life, um, and then I and then I was running back to the dugout, and I was like, please somebody just give me a helmet to hit. <laughs> and luckily Pappas was uh, was nice enough to to sacrifice it. So I, I'm I'm grateful for him. So very good. Well, we love seeing this energy, and based off these two wins, you guys came in so far and have held serve. Yeah. We'll be seeing you guys in the championship game tomorrow. Yeah. So, good work, and we can't wait to see the next game. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks so thank much. Thank you.